Okay, so if you haven't done this before, this is the children's liturgy of the word. Every time we go to Mass on Sunday, there's two main parts. Well, there's four parts to the Mass, but two main parts to the Mass. There's what we call the liturgy of the word. Everybody say that, liturgy of the word. And then there's the liturgy of the Eucharist. Say that. So liturgy of the word is the first part of the Mass where they listen to the readings and all of that, and then Father explains that to everyone. Do y'all notice that when you go to Mass? That's the first part of the Mass. And then the second part is when we go to the altar, to the table, and communion happens. So um, this is our third time doing this this year, where sometimes, how many of y'all get distracted when the liturgy of the word is happening? When they're reading the readings and Father's talking, and you're like, man, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to look at the ceiling. I'm going to think about what I'm going to eat for lunch. I'm going to think about the movie I watched last night, right? So this is a way for you guys to be able to step into and to understand we're going to read from the Bible the same thing that the parents are reading up there, but we'll break it down. Marielis is going to break it down for you guys in just a moment in a way that hopefully you guys can understand differently. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you guys can follow along. What she's reading will be here on the screen. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Heavenly Father. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you guys are in bed. So, what the reading was basically saying, um, you guys know what seasoning is, right? Yes. That song is pepper. You said, who said salt pepper? Okay, interesting. Um, so basically the reading is saying that no season is like having a life without God. When people see us and meet us, they should be able to see that you have God in your life. Because who wants a food without sasson? Is it going to taste good? No. No, right? Chichi for the trees. No. So it's definitely not. Um, I got you right. Can I have a volunteer? I need to go to the box. Okay. Yeah, I know what this is. Okay. Yeah, I'm on high school. What are you doing? I'm on high school. The person says I'm pepper. I'm pepper. So, it works good for cooking. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you still see the light? No. No, right? You can't believe thank you. This is This is what happens when we don't share the light with Jesus. Jesus has given us with others. It's like putting a hand over the light. For example, when we are being mean to others or don't want to share, that's not us sharing our light. That's us putting our hand in front of the light. Trying to block, block our light and sharing it with someone who's in darkness. We need to share our light with others so we can all shine. Don't you feel good when you're having a good day and your friend's having a good day too? Don't you feel good when you help your friend when they're having a bad day? And you make them feel better? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. <laughs> this, this is the same. Saint Jose, Saint Jose Sanchez de Rio. Does anyone know him? I'm trying to say his name in English. Does anyone know him? No, no. No, okay. He sounds familiar. He sounds familiar? Yeah, you've probably heard, him, heard a lot about him. What you might have realized is in the beginning of Mass, his picture was brought to the front of the church and put on the side. So, yeah. He, Jose, he was the youngest to join an army to fight for his faith. Because in Mexico, following your faith was outlawed, meaning if people got caught going to church or praying, they got arrested and killed. You see how today we're able to go to church? Oh, they can't stop. You, you see how we go to church and we pray? Yes. In Mexico, he wasn't allowed to do that. So the church was just there for nothing? <laughs> he could put it that way, I guess. <laughs> but he didn't agree with that. He wanted to fight for his beliefs and his religion. He died of young age, but he died for his faith. Yes? yes. I have a word for being Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> so he was, I don't know how old he was, but he was really young, probably like your age. And he was the bravest person. Out of all the grown men that were there, he was the bravest one. And he fought for his faith. Yeah, a little kid. Who, who in here is 14? So, will you join the army? Nah, right? But he did. You say, no, this is not college, this is your life. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's... Pretty much it. So yeah, the reason why the image is Jose Sanchez is an example of somebody who had that God in his life, like Mario said, right? Had that season, and he shared that like so much to the point that he fought for his faith. So if anyone says like, oh, I can't do that or whatever, there's an example of somebody who did with Saint Jose Sanchez. He put season in his faith. Right. Yeah. All right, so before we join the parents, um, as a reminder, I usually have these when we do these. It's a little coloring page that's based on the gospel. You'll see it's the little like light that's being shared. It's going to remind you of the reading that you guys read here today. Amen. Can we do a quick prayer? Can we follow the Son of the Holy Amen. God, we thank you for this time. We pray that we remember this message in our hearts as we move forward into our day and into our week. And as we join with the parents in just a few minutes to receive you in Holy Communion, may our faith be strengthened. May we receive that salt in our lives so we can go out and share that life. Amen. And we follow the Son of the Holy Spirit. Now we've got the color pages and we'll join the parents in just a minute.